Hello, hello world, how you guys doing? All right, let's see what we got for you right now. We got some Japanese in the house. Some nice looking Japanese car, classic one. This is a 1977 Daihatsu Charade. Oh, Charade, some people mention Charade. This is actually the first generation Daihatsu Charade which is the one that actually opened its doors. You know, this model for Daihatsu was very well known worldwide. This is actually one of the bread and butter models for Daihatsu for many years. So this is a good looking car, I gotta mention to you, I gotta say it. It's a good looking car, it's a compact car, and it came in a four door, which is the one that you're looking at right now, and it also came in a two-door model, which is, it was very impressive looking. If you guys seen it in person, it's very cute. It had, um, obviously it was a two-door, and the back had like a circle window in the back. It was kind of like, uh, if you guys remember the 1970s vans, like the four the corner line that had a little round window in the back. That's the type of window this little car had, which was very unique for a... Uh, for us, it was kind of like an economy car, so they kind of put like a little nice looking touch to it. I find it good looking because if you're already driving a two door car, the back window is barely useful. You cannot open it, it's a small window, so you know what you're buying when you're buying a two door car. So you might as well get, get a little fashionable and making a little circle, I mean, getting a little touch out there. It kind of gives it a good look. This brand is called First 43. It's not a very common brand. I haven't seen many models of it. I noticed they copy a lot of the other brands, Japanese cars. I'm not sure if they have a contract with another brand out there. I've seen other brands that have these models too. But um, it's a cute car. Like I said, this is a first generation Daihatsu. It was made between 1977 until 1983 and these models were sold in many other parts of the world not just in Asia it was sold in South America if I'm not mistaken it was also sold in Europe so it was quite um quite not noticeable around the world uh Daihatsu came into the United States for a few years they sold I think it was like their third generation Daihatsu uh, Charade. It was a cute car. Uh, it was a three cylinder, so not very uh, popular, I guess. So Daihatsu, unfortunately, did not last that long in the, in the United States. And they left after a few years. And they never came back. So <laughs> it was like a... Two, three year expand or a little more than that, more or less. And they kind of noticed it was not working for them. When it's not a profitable market, especially a big market like United States, it's not worth having all that networking and and advertising and all shipping the cars. And then you got cars stuck in your dealerships for days. Or, I'm not days. I mean, I'm talking about months and months. It, it kind of turns out to be non-profitable, so markets leave. That's how markets leave some mark, uh, some big countries that you may question why are they doing that when it's supposed to be uh, one of the biggest markets out there. That's the main reason, you know. Uh, and plus, it was a small car, you know. Uh, not many brands had popular small cars, maybe just Toyota and Honda. Small car market has never been a big, big boom in America. It was for a while, but then it turned back. So they just didn't really go for it. And the last few informations I read out there, they had to actually left quite a few markets. If I'm not mistaken, there's a few countries in Europe. They don't, they don't sell the Hatsu no more. But I would have to do more research on that. I was I was not 100% sure. Uh, I overread it 
So that came up in my mind right now. Uh, for the people who haven't noticed it, this is a 143 scale. Great detail car. Very cute. I like how the Japanese put their um, side mirrors by the fender all the way in the front. I always kind of find that unique, but it's uh, it's very popular back in the days in some markets around the world. I think the UK also did that for a while. Back in the 60s and 70s, I think, around there. I like the color. It's a bright color. It stands out the car. It, it lets you see more details in it. Chrome bumper. Back in the days, that was a common thing. Even the small cars had those big, not big, but chromish. Uh, you know, it looked like it took a lot more bumping into the car than others. <laughs> You know, that's cute. I see the Daihatsu lo uh, logo by the grill. Nice, uh, nice looking car. Nice looking car. I'm going to let it go around so you can have a nice look at the car. All right, guys, so as it was going around, I remember one thing, headlights. There were some Daihatsus, which I think it was the later years. I think it was the later years. Instead of round headlights, they had square headlights. You know how they are. They touch it up a little here and there to refreshen up the front, especially, and to give it a nice look. Real cute looking car, real cute. I I I seen them in person. I always find them attractive, but hey, I'm a, I get attracted to almost every model out there. Don't blame me when you're a car fanatic and you have an eye for each car out there. It's just um, it's just a matter of appreciating everything that you see. You know, I like them. They're cute. I gotta say it. <laughs> Sadly, Daihatsu is not doing so well. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Toyota brought the bought the uh, the brand a while ago. I wish Toyota puts a little bit more effort to pick up the brand again because little by little it's disappearing, and it's not a brand that it's young. It's been out there for a while, and it was good. They always specialize in smaller cars and in uh, small SUVs like if you guys remember that Ihatsu Rocky and the Daihatsu Terios for those Asian South American friends you know they had some brands out there and then they had the little one they had one smaller than this it's called the Daihatsu Quare it's a mini car you know but again they were known worldwide I'm sure more a lot of more guys out there remember these cars. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoy my videos. I always mention at the end of my videos, click the subscribe button. And don't forget the bell. The bell next to the subscribe button will remind you when I'm posting the next videos. All right. Take care. And hopefully I'll see you on my next video. And please, if you like this, subscribe, share with your friends, your other car fanatic friends out there. Share with the videos there. They will probably love to see these videos. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.